In previous video we learned how to find the area of a triangle. Now based on the same concept we are going to find out the area of a quadrilateral because we know how to find out the area of a triangle. Alright. Uh, see here question is saying if A, B, C, D all the coordinates are given are the vertices of a quadrilateral find the area of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Alright. So uh, here uh, our, our quadrilateral can be any, any type of we don't know whether it is parallelogram or rectangle or a, or a, a square or a rhombus it can be anything alright so I'm just drawing a rough uh, quadrilateral alright and this is my coordinate uh, point A point B point C and point D I've got the coordinates of each and every uh, vertices so it is minus 5 7 and let me say this is minus 4 minus 5 this is minus 1 minus 6 this is 4 comma 5 so to find the area of a quadrilateral in geometry, we simply use the formula that is uh, 1 by 2 uh, times diagonal times the uh, sum of the uh, diagonals drawn on that perpendicular. But here, it's very hard to find out uh, the length of the diagonals and the perpendiculars. We cannot. So that's why we need to use the uh, normal quadrilateral, uh, I mean, a normal uh, coordinate system, all right, in which we are going to divide here first. See, to find the area of this, we'll divide this uh, quadrilateral and then we'll find out the area of this part alright this area we'll find out and in next case we'll find out this area and when we will sum both then we'll get the area of the uh, whole quadrilateral alright so first what I'm doing I'm going to find out the area of this uh, A, uh, ACD alright area of this ACD I'll first find out alright so what I'm doing here area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal with area of triangle this ACD, alright, area of triangle ACD, and then uh, next one is area of triangle ABC. We need to add area of triangle ABC also. Area of triangle ABC, alright. Let me shift a little, and now uh, let's try to find out the area of the both, alright. So uh, area of the ACD first we are going to deal, alright. This one, this area we are going to first find out. So it is one by two and uh, the f uh, uh, we can find out the area by using direct formula or by that crossing method also crossing method uh, i think it will be uh, faster so let's let's try to uh, try to solve that all right so four five one coordinate and then second coordinate and then third coordinate and we used to repeat the f uh, first coordinate one more time so four five okay this will give us the area of of this a c d and uh, now we need to find out the area of this ABC also. So let's uh, let's do for that again one by two, and we have all this right. So it is minus five seven, all right, and then minus four, minus five, and then we have minus one, minus six, and this will be repeated one more time at last, all right? Minus five seven. So uh, now one by two, I'm going to deal with this, all right? So here. Uh, we know the crisscross, right? Uh, now we need to do the crossing, and for that, you know, first we need to do southeast, southeast, southeast. All right. So it is now four times seven. All right. Four times seven. That is directly. I'm I'm writing here twenty-eight, and then plus minus five times minus six. That is uh, uh, thirty. All right. And then minus one times five. That will be minus five. All right. And now we need to subtract the southwest. We need to subtract the southwest. So f 5 times 5, that's uh, going to be minus 25. And then minus 1 times 7, that's going to be minus 7. And 4 times minus 6, that's going to be minus 24. All right. We finished this part. Now let's work on this part. All right. So plus again 1 by 2. First, we have to deal with the southeast, uh, right? Southeast, southeast, southeast. So now here minus 5 minus 5 that's going to be 25 and then minus 4 minus uh, 6 that's going to be 24 and minus 1 7 that's going to be minus 7 and now we need to subtract the southwest all right so let's subtract southwest southwest and southwest so it will be minus 4 times 7 that's minus 28 and minus 1 times minus 5 that's simple 5 and minus 5 times minus 6 that's simple 30 all right okay so now just addition and little problems uh, we need to solve so 28 plus 30 that's going to be 58 minus 5 that's going to be 53 and then minus minus uh, this is minus 25 
and minus 25 it will be minus 49 minus 49 and 7 so it's minus 56 and minus minus plus so it will be plus 56 all right and then plus 1 by 2 now see this is 25 and 24 again this will 49 uh, and 49 minus 7 uh, it will be 42 all right uh, now minus uh, this is 30 and 5 35 35 minus 28 uh, it's going to be 7 all right so it's minus 7 so now 1 by 2 times this 53 plus 56 6 plus 3 that is 9 and 5 plus 5 that's 10 109 and again uh, 1 by 2 and this 42 minus 7 that's 35 all right so now it's going to be 1 by 2 109 plus 35 all right uh, 1 by 2 now 9 plus 5 uh, 14 carry over 1 and then this will be 4 and then 1 so it's going to be uh, 144 so now if I'm cancelling I'll get 72 so my area of the quadrilateral is 72 square unit since it is area so our unit will be a square unit so what's the uh, what's the area of the quadrilateral that's 72 square unit it's a very simple concept right just what we did we split our quadrilateral into the two triangles and we find out the area of the each in uh, each triangle individually and then we add it all right so this is how we need to find out the area of a quadrilateral if all the vertices is given all right uh, i hope you understand this and similar type of the problem you can solve i hope that all right and uh, catch you in the next video goodbye